So it seems like there's been a whole slew of uh, ultra premium collection boxes coming out. We just got the Charizard one a couple weeks ago. Now we got a brand new one. We got ourselves the Arceus V Star premium collection box. I'm excited. Let's check it out. Totally didn't almost just drop it there. That's all right. I uh, actually almost. I forgot I bought this. Pre-ordered it quite a while ago. It is a GameStop exclusive box. But I'm really happy it's here. You get a brand some really cool brand new stuff. And I mean that box. That is very pretty. I love all the the stars on it and that like rainbow foil. That's so cool. Let's open it up. Let's check it out here. Ah, here they are. You get two more metal cards. Arceus V and Arceus V Star, both from Brilliant Stars. They're really cool. They're much like the ones from the Celebrations UPC, the Pikachu and Charizard. I like those. Those are so cool. This is something else I'm really excited for. Another brand new playmat. I mean, look at that. That is just so cool. Definitely starting to uh, build up the playmat collection. We get a ton of packs. I think it's 15 in total. Well, let's check out what's in this little box right here. <clears throat> right, this is empty. It's gonna go that way. <laughs> get a V Star marker. We don't need those. Really cool metal Arceus coin and some more metal die that's it that's everything that's in the box here kitty you can play with all that so let's see it should be four lost origin four astral radiance four brilliant stars two evolving skies and a vivid voltage really good pack selection i'm really happy with that we're gonna start with the lone vivid voltage let's see if we can get the uh rainbow chonkachu here that'd be really cool Still have yet to actually pull that. We got Opal, Clobopus, Electric, Execute, Eevee, Woobat. We got a Reverse Hollow Fanfi and Non Hollow Yon Mega. So not too much happening there. We're saving Evolving Skies for last. Let's go. Let's get into some Astral Radiance here. I've had a ton of fun opening up Astral. More so than uh, Lost Origin, but that happens. Definitely Lost Origin's my least favorite set out of out of all the ones that come in here, which is kind of weird since it's fairly new. No longer the newest set. Silver Tempest just came out. I am unfortunately not doing a big opening on that, but I am opening up some on TikTok. So if you do want to go see that, go check it out. I've already pulled some really really cool stuff so definitely not gonna want to miss that we get into the second pack here we got magneton spicy seasoned curry pseudo wudo combi drifloon psyduck yo there we go we got a frost moth trainer gallery card that's i love these new trainer gallery they're so cool and yo a full art hasuian sneezler Definitely need that for the binder, so that's a huge pull right there. I'm going to set both of those right there where you can see them. I think the return of like the character cards is definitely huge. I know the Sun and Moon... Yeah, the Sun and Moon era had some. And then they went away. But my favorite cards to collect currently... And let's just see if we can't get any more here. I think three of these sets should be able to have some. But all right. There's nothing in that one. But we still have that double hit pack. So that's always super, super nice. Let's begin to the last Astral Radiance pack here. Let's see what we got. Ursa Ring, Sweet Honey, Eevee, Heracross, Teddy Ursa. As the day of recording this, it is Teddy Ursa Community Day. So make sure you go out 
can you get yourself some nice shiny teddy bears? So we're gonna save brilliant stars actually. We'll go into Lost Origin. Come on. Oh, that was different. That the code card was swapped around, so maybe we'll have something good here. Let's see. Let's check this one out. We got Mind Shell, Litleo, Mind Fu, Shellos, Meditite, Horsey. Oh, there we go. We got another Trainer Gallery, Parasect. One of my favorite from this set. Something about it. I don't know. But let's see. Hisuian Zoroark V. All right. Not terrible. Not terrible. Right. Second pack here. I don't like that the code cards are flipped around now on this set. So we got the V Star marker. We got Licky Licky, Poliwhirl, Shellos, Shuppet. Horsey, Lickitung, Clefairy, Mr. Mime, and a non hollow there. That's alright. Right. Let's uh try to not show you. I try to not show you the code card color, but it ended up being flipped the, the, the right way. I don't know, man. I don't know, I just work here. I don't don't know what's happening. We got Panic Mask, Cedra. Right on, Growlithe, Ducklet, Rockruff. Honestly, I think all in all, Rockruff has some of like my favorite artworks. Don't know why. The one in uh, Silver Tempest is really cool. I really like that one. Really cute kind of play style. All right, let's get into this final pack of Lost Origin. We got Cascoon, Tanamo, C Dot. Horsey, Metatite, Shellos, Arizu, and oof, hasn't been uh, the best box. But then again, you should also know my luck by now. It's not that great. But it's all about having fun. And I'm always having fun ripping packs, seeing what there is inside. I can never have a sealed collection. If I were to ever have one, I it would be gone. I would just look at it all one day as we get a Zekrom character rare and a Wormadam. But hey, that's three Chainer Galleries. <laughs> but no, as I was saying, I'd look at my sealed collection one day and I just I wouldn't be able to control myself and I'd just rip it all. I couldn't do it. Let's see. You guys think we could get the uh, Charizard alt art just from four Brilliant Stars packs? That'd be really cool. As we, you know, went right past that core fish. And, yo, that's pretty good. Pikachu full art. I like that. I like, like, the, the light kind of in the back. That's cool. Well, starting to pick up a little bit. Let's, let's two in a row. Let's see what else Brilliant Stars has in store for us. There you go. Right. Let's see this one here. Grottle. Cubchoo. Duskull. <laughs> Love that far-fetched art. We got Sneasel. Gabite. And non-hollow Wormadam. We got three packs left. One more Brilliant Stars. And the two... Evolving skies. You already know I'm really hoping for that. That Moonbrion. Either the Moonbrion or the uh the Rayquaza. Those are my two uh definitely my two top cards from Evolving Skies that I've yet to pull. Could we get one today? We'll have to wait and find out. Milsuri, Shroomish, and Non Hollow Meg Mortar. But here we go, getting into the Falling Skies booster packs. Still easily one of my favorite Sword and Shield era sets. I think I'd have to put this one first and Astral Radiance second, I think. And it's all it's all preference. Those are just the packs that I've had the most fun ripping. But let's see, Elemental Badge and a non-hollow 
shift tree. So real quick, I just want to put all six of our hits up here so you can see them. 15 packs, six hits, 14, I guess we've opened. Can we end it on an absolute banger of a hit? Let's see, we can always hope. All in all, still a really good box to pick up though. So if you haven't yet, I would suggest hitting up your local GameStop. They are only $100, so not a bad price. Not bad, and a lot of fun stuff. But let's see here, we got Rog and Rolla. And what are we gonna end this fantastic Arceus Ultra Premium Collection box on? A non holo but that's all right. Still had a lot of fun. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.